Good evening. It is Tuesday, the 11th of June, 2013. It's nine o'clock and I've got my purple show shirt on. So it must be Vaporscene. Vaporscene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e liquid Yes, I'm back. It's Tuesday the 11th of June and we're here for another quite full, actually, vapor scene. <laughs> uh, we've got lots to get in today. Uh, we're going to be looking a little bit later at this, which is a broken tank for that. Yes, a look at that in part two. Uh, but let's have a look at the news this week and I want to pick up on a couple of things. Uh, the first one is the groove by Smocktech and you can see that it has been recalled. Um, it was dealt with on Sunday's show uh, by Dave and uh, this is a little bit of his video about that. Uh, you can see that's the carpet. <laughs> uh, so it burned that rather nicely and uh, basically it looks like uh, there is a severe problem with this. Uh, some of the theories so far are that because it's metal cased, there's no insulation between that and the battery. So it only takes the slightest sort of jolt. And uh, this can be the result. And some of these pictures are uh, kind of spectacular. Now, obviously, uh, Smock appear to have done the right thing and they've uh, launched a product recall. And I think there's just one more picture and we'll get back onto the screen. There you go. So uh, we've got a couple of bits of advice uh, to pass on. As, as I say, Darren from Safer Sigs uh, wants you to contact him. Uh, don't, please don't return these things through the post. Um, that is not a, a clever thing to do. Uh, but if you contact the vendor from which you bought yours, if you've got one of these, uh, they'll tell you what they need to do, what you need to do. Yes, so that was a little bit from uh, Dave's show on Sunday. He's got quite a, a lengthy bit actually uh, at the beginning of his show, so have a look at that because there is some little hints there about uh, how to dissipate a dodgy battery um, bucket of salty water. Yes, but don't contact Daz if you haven't bought it from him. <laughs> contact your own vendor if you have bought one um, and uh, don't use it and keep it somewhere where it's not going to uh, cause any issues should it fail um, but Smock have done the right thing and they are recalling them and they will make sure everyone gets their money so uh, that's all very good and have a look at the Smock um, website and they will uh, you can see their their little uh, announcement their bit of news I couldn't get my words out then it's been a long week and it's only Tuesday um, yes so that was the uh, Smock Tech Groove safety recall uh, and um, as Dave showed really wasn't his it was someone else's but um let's move on <laughs> and look at this week's show as yours gallery and now it's time for show as yours sponsored by flavor art uk
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's hoedown. <laughs> and show is yours, Gallery. Uh, I love finding those bits of music on Kevin's website. It's a very good place for music. And uh, I like that one. So there you go. So if you would like to go into the pot to win a bottle of juice, you know what to do. Send me an email to vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. And this lucky person did this week's winner. And it is Jan Pullman. And I'm assuming it's Jan and not Jan because Jan tells me that uh, they're called Silver Bullet in chat. And this was taken in the baggage department of Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. So well done, Jan or Jan. Uh, I'll be sending you an email after the show uh, and I'll tell you how you get your hands on your bottle of juice courtesy of our friends over at Flavor Art UK. There you go. That was this week's show as yours. Uh, now then, I'm looking at my link. Yes, there we are. So, earlier on, pre-show, and just at the beginning, I gave you a little glimpse on close the Epicam of this. And this is the tank that used to be in here in my Arga tea. but I've got a new one yes I have have a little look at this has this happened to your tank this is an Arga tea uh, with the original polycarbonate tank and as you can see it's cracked <laughs> it's very cracked it's cracked in both sides. So basically, it's no good. So what can you do? Well, you can change the tank. And I have, in this little baggie, a replacement polycarbonate tank. But this is a replacement Pyrex tank. Oh yes. So, let me open this little bag up and I will show you. Here we are. This is a Pyrex tank. And I got this from Liberty Flights. You can get them from other vendors as well. And this will replace the cracked one in the Arga T and the Arga T2. Uh, so you can use the juices that crack them in the first place. So that is the Pyrex version. Uh, and I've also got a polycarbonate version. And you can see they are virtually identical. It's just that this one is made from polycarbonate and this one is made from Pyrex. And we're going to use the Pyrex tank because I'm fed up with cracking my tank. So I might as well change to Pyrex. So how do you change it? It's so easy. On the Argati, you just unscrew the top on the T2, of course, you just pull the top off. Uh, and then you have an assortment of attachments here. And all you need to do is unscrew the post screws from the middle, being careful not to drop them on the floor because they are a bugger to find. So once you have taken those off. You can then unscrew this top section like this. So just gently unscrew it and that this pulls away like that. We'll just put that there and then it's just a case of taking out the tank and you can see the damage that I've done to it. <laughs> it's literally cracked in half. Um, and I forget what juice it was I had in there, but it didn't take long at all. It probably took 15 minutes to uh, to crack it. Uh, so there you go. So that's going in the bin. Uh, and we're going to just replace it with the Pyrex. Now, I've already given this a clean out. Um, so it is pretty clean uh, and I've just yesterday ordered an ultrasonic cleaner having seen uh, Dave's tackle box from a few weeks ago where he had bought one and I've been looking at one for a while but I thought I'd buy one 
So I'll show you that in another show. So now, it's just a reverse of, it's just a reverse of taking it off. There's an O-ring here, as you can see. Put the tank in the center, put your top cut back on and tighten it back up. And I've just got that so it's just finger tight. And then I'm going to put the little screws back on the center post. That's the first one. And the second one when it goes on. go and finally the third one and that's it we have just installed a pyrex tank into our argot which effectively makes it into an argot too apart from the fact that this has got the knurling uh, and you screw the top cap on as opposed to pushing it on now, I actually prefer the fact that I can screw this top cap on because I'm forever knocking the top off my Argo T2. The only uh, fallback, of course, is that you can't then specify where that air hole um, is. So, you know, it needs to be where the wick is, really, but you can't really get it so it's there, um, which is a shame because the air hole is here and the wick is about there. But there you go. So that's it. We've retanked the Argo tea. Let's put some juice in it and wick it up and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's back to me in the studio. Yes, back to me. And here it is. Let's go to close your cam again. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Um, it is still in one piece and I've got that full of banana, banana split um, and there's no sign of a crack or a leak or anything uh, and I managed to wick it as well so um, oh there you go yes so it, it works very well. Um, they are of course a little bit more expensive than the polycarbonate version um, about you know one pound fifty more but hey definitely worth it how many are you gonna crack? Uh, so I can put anything in there cinnamon lime pineapple whatever and it's not going to crack if you drop it of course it's going to break but it takes quite a lot to break pyrex isn't it so there you are um that was the retanking of the argot so now i've got the argot two and the argot t both on the go um which is nice right then we're going to go into the ads and when we come back i've got a little update on the knees meet uh, and uh, so information on what's coming up after tonight's show uh, and tomorrow and also a little bit of vapor trailing that I did at the weekend. Uh, so looking for my adverts, I will see you in two. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health eVape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.
now it's back to Vapor Scene on Vapor Trails TV. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And we're back in the room. Hello. Now, if you were in pre-show, uh, you'd have seen that the knees meet uh, has moved from the sundial to a new place. And here it is. It's at the, the New Crown Hotel in Mowbray Road, South Shields, NE33, 3NG. Uh, and the team have moved uh, to a, a larger venue, basically, because there's more people than would be comfortable at the sundial. So the guys have found a bigger place, so it should be better. So here is the new and improved trailer. And of course, you can keep up with all the bits and pieces on Vapor Trails TV on the Facebook and the Twitter, and of course, on the Vapor Trails TV forum for updates and the like. There you go. I'm hoping to be there. I know uh, Dave Kitson is hoping to be there as well. Um, so it should be a good little do, because last time's was really good as well. And I stayed overnight and had a little jolly on the way home. So, uh, a jolly drive, that is, you know, nothing too jolly. <laughs> oh dear, it's not going to go wrong in a minute. Right, so hopefully I'll be there. Uh, and uh, I know the guys are looking forward to it big time. So, let's move on uh, to my little vapor trail this week. And it kind of covers a bit of Scotland, uh, and a bit of West Midland, and a bit of South Yorkshire, and some little bits from last week. So, enjoy. <laughs> I'm on my way uh, back up to South Yorkshire from uh, the West Midlands uh, for I have been here, there and everywhere <laughs> this week. Um, Wednesday I was in Scotland, Friday I was in South Yorkshire, Saturday I was in the West Midlands and today being Sunday I'm going back to Yorkshire. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I've done a few miles this week. So today I have the SVD but I've got the SVD with an 18350 in, the short version, um, and I have the Arga T2 on the top uh, with some Exo uh, Virginia juice, what I like, um, and it's working rather well. I have it at um, ooh, 9 watts currently. And it's doing alright. Not doing too bad at all. Uh, I'm still getting the uh, the green light, so that means I'm uh, still got plenty of voltage. Um, but I thought uh, after the last time I tried the 18350, it wouldn't give me enough oomph. Um, but it's plenty there. Um, plenty there.
Yes, indeed. Now, because um, I was in Scotland and in kind of a Wi-Fi dead zone again, I missed both the shows from Dave on uh, Wednesday and Thursday, but I did catch up yesterday uh, in the few hours that I was at home. Um, and I have to say, Wednesday's show was interesting, to say the least. Uh, and I would like to say, just for the record, that I am uh, in my car driving, uh, vaping on my unlicensed nicotine replacement therapy product. <laughs> and I think Lorian had it right with uh, in relation to the email from Dennis Wilmot. Because if you look at last week's show, when I showed you the little clip that I put together from the Envy meeting, uh, and particularly the clip with Glenys. On e-cigarettes, I just want to say it should be treated like every other smoking cessation product in my view. And, you know, nobody will change my mind on that. Yes, she said quite clearly that on the subject of e-cigs, she wants it regulated uh, and no one was going to change her mind. And, you know, nobody will change my mind on that. So that email that was sent out to Andy Sutton, which Dave shared with us all last week uh, and was commented upon last week. And it says, thank you for your email about e-cigarettes. I have received many letters and emails from constituents who have told me how e-cigarettes have helped them to quit smoking and who are concerned that the proposals at EU level could result in a ban of these products. MEPs have yet to come to a view on how best to regulate e-cigarettes on the market and whether and how to amend the proposal from the European Commission. And this is where it gets interesting. My colleague Linda McCavan is the MEP leading this draft legislation through the European Parliament and she has taken evidence from e-cigarette companies as well as from users, regulators and doctors. It would also mean that e-cigarettes could be sold as widely as cigarettes creating a more level playing field with tobacco products. She leaves the option for e-cigs to be authorised as medicines as some companies and users may prefer this given the advantages in terms of a lower VAT rate and the possibility of e-cigarettes being available free to patients on prescription. In short, Linda wants to encourage the potential benefits that e-cigarettes offer regular smokers in terms of harm reduction but these potential benefits need to be balanced against the need for more studies into long-term effects as well as the risk that e-cigarettes could turn into a gateway product for children. Only once MEPs and Ministers have reached agreement will there be a new law. Thank you again for sharing your views with me. These will be taken on board in the ongoing discussions. discussions. <coughs> Best wishes, Glenys Wilmot. really sounds like it was sent out by uh, one of the people in the office um, using the uh, kind of stock email for Glenys Wilmot um, and it was particularly interesting to see the little section uh, where my colleague Linda McCaven was mentioned. Uh, and talking about Linda McCaven, I still haven't had the reply to the reply I sent last Tuesday when she replied to my email uh, for a request for a meeting. So we will see where that one goes. You never know. By Tuesday, I may well have had a reply. Don't know. Um, and wasn't Dave's shirt nice on Thursday? <laughs> what? Now they're seeing me drip tip clashes with me shirt. I never thought of that. If I had somewhere to clip the mic, I would take the shirt off. <coughs> Oh, I wouldn't do that. I, well, well yeah. I don't know whether the mic will clip on me glasses. Hang on. I'll try anything once. Can you hear me, mother? Oh, you can. So I can stick the mic on me glasses and then I could take the shirt. Oh, don't go there. I could take the shirt completely off. I think, and that's, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably uh, the very, very oh best thing God. that I can probably do. I must just add, the other thing that I've been using this week on my trusty EVIC uh, is the iClear 30 uh, and the juice I'd had in there before was all PG apart from the uh, RY4 Gold which was 70% VG, 30% PG 
Uh, but this is kind of 99% VG, and it's one of mine. It's a chocolate mint uh, Dolce Leche hazelnut <laughs> concoction, uh, which is rather nice. Um, so just to see what it was like with a more VG based juice, uh, and it, it's wicking quite well, um, and the taste is um, is quite good too. Would help if I turned it on though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh dear, I had to charge this last night because um, I'd run out, but luckily I had my Blackberry come um, EVIC charger with me, because it does both. 10.2 watts, here we go. Yeah. So it, uh, it works quite well with VG based juices. Yes, that was my paper child this week. And as you know, I was just all over the country <laughs> last week. Um, so the best place to do anything was going to be the car because I spent so much time in it. Um, but there you go. Uh, and I had to be where I needed to be on Sunday morning at 4.30 in the morning. I didn't enjoy it much, but there you go. So I am running rapidly out of time, but I must get in a couple of things. Uh, and I'm just going to play you the little trail for the show that's coming up in about 15 minutes. Yes, DE Talk will be on your screens in approximately 14 minutes, because <laughs> now I'm over. Um, yes, indeed, Mark and uh, Thomas, I believe, are presenting that, and that was going to be in German. I'll be having a look at that. I may not understand everything, but um, it's going to be fun. So if you speak German, even better, you can, uh, you can get two shows for the price of one. Uh, and I must also mention tomorrow night's VT Talk. This is going to be... A monster I believe because the MHRA are expecting to make their announcement on e-cigs tomorrow so of course Dave is going to be very busy uh, getting a show together and to bring you the latest news on what the MHRA are going to do could be interesting um, so tune in tomorrow for that don't forget of course Dave is back with hopefully not so scared Keith on Thursday with the Hayes Hour uh, and then of course Dave Kitson on Sunday with uh, Dave's Tackle Box, the boys with Tin Your Tip, and I will be here next Tuesday, as always, with Vapor Scene. Until then, have a good week. Tatty bye. Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evape, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid.